Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we are working on a Will McLean hot water boiler and we're going to be wiring it up. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're working on a Will McLean boiler. This was just replaced but the guy who installed it has no idea how to wire it. We got a bunch of things disconnected, whatever that is, this, that, this, I see there's no switch, there's quite a few things going on over here, and there's two thermostats, it makes sense that we have two circulators, so let's figure this out. I did find an awesome diagram when I looked up this unit, I did get the model number last night, and I figured out a way to wire it. As far as this, this is just a basic diagram. It's all gonna depend on what kind of system you have. And I did actually draw something out, but it's just what I thought was here. I thought maybe there would be an actuator with end switches, but now it's gonna change the game up. I need to figure out how I'm gonna wire these circulators in with a thermostat, but let's start with what we can do. Honestly, boilers aren't really my thing. Sick off the cover. All right, let's see what we got here. This is our control board ignition, gas valve, got a transformer right here. These are the wires that we can use. So the two blue wires for, for DHW, domestic hot water. Next, let's see, right here, here's our thermostat. Here's the two black R's for thermostat. Then we have a, another wire, a common, and then one more wire, R. So that's our transformer. What's this? Yellow and white wire, yellow and white. That's the circulator pump. It's just weird. When I looked at this model number, it showed that the circulator pump was supposed to be, I believe, on the return line. But the way he did it, is he just used the, these are definitely old. He put two old pumps here. So here's the supply. Then it tees off and then it goes to our two zones. And we, I know we have two thermostats. The thing is, the guy is not here. I know this is one of the thermostats. It has to be for the downstairs area, right? Got that. So that's hanging. That's that's gonna be the first floor. So it says one supple, not even a supple. I don't know why. I don't know why. So so this is gonna be with here. And the next thermostat. See, that's the thing. I don't know where it, where it's coming from. I see two cables here. And then what's this? Is this uh. Is this the 120 coming in? The, the, the person who gave me this job is not here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, uh, as far as power wires, I mean, here's your hot neutral. That can't be anything. Where's the power coming in here? How's the power for the boiler? I can see here, this is a spill switch. This needs to be wired. Let's start with what we know. So spill switch right here, it says spill. Got two connections. We can put on either one. Then we got to mount it on this hood. I see two holes right here. I believe it goes right there. Let's get that on. All right. Next screw. Okay, and the spill switch. So then we got these two wires. It shouldn't matter which goes where. All right, spill switch done. All right, next, what's this? It's our draft motor, and it's a Molex plug. So that should go directly into the board somewhere vent damper goes to the bottom right 
Thanks to thermostat. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is the damper right here. It says damper. Okay, I see a hole right there. So we should be able to use that. Let's get that in there. Okay. Then we go around the ring back and tighten that down. This looks kind of ugly. Thinking maybe if I shorten it up, it'll look better. I actually can't shorten it because, and I'm not trying to cut the wires or anything over there because it doesn't fit through here. So let's just use what they gave us. I don't think they want us to cut that up anyways. All right, no problem. Let's just put this back. All right, I think that looks okay. Tighten that down and let's plug this in into the board over there. Things definitely got a bit trickier considering we had these circulators here. I thought that I was gonna run into some actuators. So we're switching out the plan and I picked up a switching relay for zoning actuators made by Taiko. And this is a four zone control, even though we have two zones, right? Two zones, two circulators, two wire. I picked this one up because the two zone wasn't available nearby and I wasn't gonna drive six hours. So that's that. We're gonna install that on the wall here. And that's how we're gonna wire the thermostats to work with the circulators. And then I followed the wires. So this is the power coming in. It's one of these three black wires up there. Then we have two thermostat cables, one for each floor. I went out to figure out which floor is which, nothing is labeled. I found this tucked in back there, so I kind of just brought it in. So this is gonna be our 120 volt coming in, these two wires. And then over here, it's gonna be our thermostats. Let's begin somewhere. There was a lot to do and figure out. This is a, becoming a bigger project than expected. Let's start by mounting this on the wall. I think right here will look nice. that's looking real nice so here's where our thermostats get connected zone one zone two then our two circulators zone one zone two get here you got to put 120 volt input here this has its own separate transformer so it's already feeding the thermostat so we don't have to run anything like that and let's just take things one step at a time right now what I could do is run this power into here. All right, so I began wiring this up. From ZR, I wired in this low water cutoff. Even though this system is, has a built-in low water cutoff, we have, it's not gonna shut down the circulator, so we don't wanna burn that out by running it dry in case there is a low water issue. So what's gonna happen is take this low water cutout. I'm not gonna wire both because I could just wire one. I separated all the wires. And as far as this, we're definitely not gonna use this anymore so we can get rid of it. I'm just gonna run like a BX directly into the power. That would be fine. Let's get rid of this whole thing. So I tied in the first floor red and black uh, red and green so we should have continuity between red and green and that would indicate the first floor not this one okay so this is the f see how i had the beef so that's the first floor and i know the next one is the second floor first floor second floor zone one zone two all right, got the thermostat connected. Just kind of ran that up here. It's really a mess in here, but got that in. And I wired my two zones. 
And I think the only thing that's left now is we gotta run the main power into a switch to feed this unit. And then we gotta run 120 to feed this controller. We also have two thermostats upstairs to connect as there's no wires and I'm not sure if they have air conditioning in this house. Alright guys, some updates. This is how everything is wired. All that BX. Try to run it neatly. Alright, the only thing is that line bolts. I can't find the breaker or the power, but honestly this is looking pretty good. All right guys, as far as this, this is my two new wires for power. I got some wires here, but I'm not getting voltage no matter what. Here's the panel. It was labeled for these. I do have power coming out. These two weren't wired, so I said, let me just put the biggest wires on this breaker because this is a two pole 30 amp breaker, two of them. So it must be these two thick wires. I don't see why that would run the boiler, but I connected it because the electrician said he left it disconnected. Um, I connected it and we still don't have power, so it kind of is what it is. Can't really start this thing without power. So the last real step was to connect the power wires. I got the thermostats upstairs hooked up, got everything hooked up. I wanted to connect power and test it. Just so I could test, I just connected that and just spliced that in. Turn on the switch, power is on. Also have power for the low water cutoff. And what we got to do is turn on the thermostats and see if zone 1 and zone 2 line up. See if the water pumps start. And see if this unit starts. It's shut down for some reason at flame. Maybe there's air in the gas line. I'll turn it back on. Both zones came on. Both pumps. Damper. Okay, I feel it. Raise the boiler temp to 180. Spark. Don't even smell gas. Shut down. That blinking light, so flame and stopped at that point. Both zones are cold. What's going on? Turn it back on. Power is on. Two red lights is each zone. Each pump starting. This one is vent damper. Hopefully this was it. everyone we have a flame i just reset it again to see what would happen there might have been air in the gas line sometimes you have to do it a few times that is a beautiful thing wow except there's a little bit of a leak from there but this guy's gonna fix it <laughs> all right guys that's a beautiful thing boiler satisfied calling on the thermostats as you can see that's zone one and zone two pumps are running and it's going to keep running until the thermostat satisfies and when it does it closes there was some behind the scenes wiring as far as getting this all done it's just there was so much going on i just really just wanted to get this done and honestly prepare for the weekend <laughs> and i did not want to have to come back here so i literally just build a little something like that but once they restore power and connect Line in neutral, they'll be good to go. It's nice power, everything is neatly ran. And yeah, right now the, the plumber guy who installed this boiler, I only came here to wire it. He's uh, purging the lines. So you can see we have a little drain hose here. Even though we satisfied, we weren't getting any heat on the supply and return. Once we started uh, draining, 
we removed some of the air in the piping and by doing that we were able to oh, things out a little bit. by draining it we were able to get the water moving and now we got some heat so he's just draining from different parts of the house and that's pretty much it but we got this in we figured it out we got it going and we're wrapping this one up so if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time